Razor bumps is a very big problem. Razor bumps are a big problem for men and women. Our investigation found real solutions. I'm Barbara Nevins-Taylor, and I'll have that story coming up. Well, do you suffer from those painful razor bumps? It's a problem for many African Americans after they shave, but relief is in sight. Tonight, our eye team offers a solution to the skin problem. Barbara Nevins-Taylor reports. Razor bumps is a very big problem. Razor bumps are the talk of the barbershop. Shaving at home shouldn't be a nightmare, but with razor bumps, it often is. Sometimes you wish there was something that you could use to prevent it. Here's the good news. There are things you can do to prevent razor bumps and soothe the skin when they do occur. Anyone who shaves, man or woman, with tightly curled hair is at risk. Curly hair when cut can curl back into the skin, causing a bump. It happened repeatedly to NYPD detective William Harvey, and his bumps got inflamed and infected. At one point, I even got a medical clearance to wear a, a small beard. Razor bumps are a medical condition called pseudofolliculitis barbae. In recent years, doctors have found remedies. They're tolerating the laser very well. Laser treatments are more effective than other remedies because the laser removes the hair. We first reported about safe laser treatments for skin of color in 2001. Dermatologist Fran Cook Bolden and plastic surgeon Dr. Robert Guida were featured in our stories then. I saw the uh, story on UPN 9 News about five years ago. Chris became Dr. Guida's patient. At the time, I only had two or three treatments, uh, but that was enough for me. I've done thousands of treatments. You see a remarkable reduction in the razor bumps on uh, men and women and dark-skinned people. You'll see a reduction in the razor bumps even after one treatment. And now, live, UPN 9 News at 10. Doctors say they've learned to refine their techniques. We've learned that we can use the, the laser at a higher level. Uh, they redid the laser. It's more powerful now, and it's safer. Jennifer is having her third laser procedure in a year. When we talked to her, she still had the cooling gel on her face. The electrolysis damaged my skin. It had like a lot of blackness underneath my chin. But now the laser, it's perfect. All the blackness has all gone away. Now here's Radiance, FDA approved for other uses. Doctors like it for filling lines. So we're just going to fill in this side. A little bit. Remember Nahila? Look at that needle headed for her face. Plastic surgeon Robert Guida injects radiance made of calcium hydroxyapatite, something we all have in our bones. It works quickly. Natural collagen collects around the radiance and keeps it in place for two years and maybe more. This works successfully. There have been very few complications that I know of in New York City, and people have been very satisfied. Nahila, the next day. I'm really pleased with it. Whether it's acne or wrinkles, make sure you choose your doctor carefully. Experts say a board-certified physician is the one to